So this is our um, purpose-built installation control valve um, uh, chamber. And uh, in here we've got a selection of installation control valves of different types. We've actually got 14 valves in here so that delegates who come on our courses can get a good hands-on experience of using the valves themselves. Um, this is purpose-built, as I said, and last year we had over 130 delegates attend our courses to do hands-on training in this very room. So I'll just walk around and show you the different types of valves that we've got. Um, starting at the end here, we've got um, deluge valves, um, dry and wet valves, and um, we've got a dry pipe valve here, uh, a wet installation control valve, which is obviously the most common valve that anybody uses, and then we've got uh, other deluge valves trimmed in different ways to be a pre-action valve. Uh, we've got pre-action valve, double acting, and uh, we've got a butterfly um, wafer alarm valve here, the old type. So it's uh, a lot of those sold, so obviously if you want to get experience with using that one, that might be uh, the thing to use. We've got more wet valves, and then as we look along here, we've got alternate wet and dry valves. Um, at the back there, we've got a um, project fire zone control valve. And then on the corner there, we've got a uh, pre-action valve, which has got a detection system. Behind there with the light on, you can see an ele electronic panel, which is um, lit up, and it's got a simulation to a detection system so that we can uh, uh, enact a uh, sort of real-life experience of a detection system going off and setting off the, uh, the pre-action valve. On the table here, we've got a lot of uh, examples of um, pressure switches and flow switches and... Uh, valves that we've taken out and stripped down so that you can get hands-on experience of actually taking these things apart and um, just having to play around with it really but you'll learn a lot from the uh, from the experience of being in this room. This is our sprinkler uh, pump room and uh, we've got three pumps in here we've got a diesel pump, an electric pump and a small jockey pump. Um, obviously the uh, pump room is an essential part of the kit for a sprinkler system and delegates coming on our courses will get hands-on experience of using this equipment I'll walk you through the pump room now and I'll show you the testing equipment that the delegates can use. So in the background we've got what would normally be a duty pump, which is the electric pump. It normally has a group one pump uh, with the electric supply and electric panel behind it, all of which will be explained to, to anybody who comes on the course. On the right here we've got the uh, diesel pump, which is normally a standby pump. This is actually a high hazard pump. The two pumps don't match, but that gives uh, delegates a bit more sort of real world experience than just coming on a course because ideally the two would match, but uh, obviously you're going to learn a lot more from uh, having two mismatched pumps. And in the back there, we've got a small jockey pump as well, which uh, obviously tops up the system pressure. It's all connected into the pump start board, so we will be showing you how to use this pump start board. Um, obviously we've got the uh, pressure switches for the, uh, for the three pumps, starting with the jockey, the electric and the diesel pump. And uh, we'll show you how to test that, how to bring the pumps in, and then, more importantly, we'll be showing you how to do a um, pressure and flow test for each pump, so we can do a pump performance test using the uh, flow meters. We've got a flow meter here and the flow test line, which turns the water back into the tank located just outside. Our water tank is just through the wall there, and it's a fully uh, approved LPCB water storage tank. So just running around the room, uh, obviously we'll show you which valves to operate and which ones need to be closed, uh, explain the pump starter panels, such as this panel, and towards the back here, we've got the remote alarm panel with all the signals on it. We'll explain what signals you should be receiving and uh, the function of this panel. And generally talking you through the LPC rules at the same time to make, you, make sure everything's fully compliant with the, uh, the current standards. Okay, so this is our sprinkler tank. Um, it's a purpose-built LPCB approved sprinkler tank. Um, it's of 19 cubic metres, so it's slightly smaller than uh, a normal sprinkler tank. But it, it, we've had it built so that you can see all the uh, all the ancillary fittings and get experience of it it doesn't just apply if you're a uh, installer or a maintainer but if you're a designer by having this here you can see what you actually need to put on the tank and the amount of space that it takes up um, our particular tank is a modern tank it's got the, uh, the manway at the base so that you can get in and out of the tank if you need to go and service the tank um, obviously we've got the uh, contents gauge and the uh, nameplate here which tells you the capacity the diameter and everything else uh, but the tank itself is fed from the water supply there which rises up the tank um, which is this pipe here has got trace heating lagging on it to stop it freezing uh, there's an immersion heater there to stop the ball valves from freezing and then the ball valve housing on the top there is accessible by a ladder we've got the ladder which is currently in the pump house we can bring that out and put it against the tank uh, fit it into the, uh, the frame and you can go up on top of the tank have a look into the tank work the ball valves and uh, 
see for yourself. That's good, good experience. Over here we've got the uh, drain, uh, so we can drain the tanks, which is also lagged to, to prevent it from freezing. And then uh, on the top here, you can see the uh, the telltale and the overflow pipe, just in case there's uh, there's a problem. So what you've got here is a fully functioning sprinkler tank for you to come and look at and get familiar with.